Hello everybody, my name is Lachara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2, episode 53 of my Let's Play. The trend had just changed, it is now simulation, with the theme of casinos also being the trend, and we are going to hit that. We're going to make a casino simulation slash eco-economic simulation game. It's going to be a non-sequel. I have not made a non-sequel in a really long time. Um, I'm assuming it's probably going to be AAA, this will be for adults. And where is simulation at? Right here. Subgenre economic simulation. Casino is for the topic. And what can we throw? It's a second topic. Is gambling a topic? It is. It, I did not realize that. <laughs> so we'll call this gambling. Um Gambler Tycoon? Sure. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Um, license, license, license. You want to put a license on this? Sure. Buy a new license. We need one that fits for simulation. That's technically for sport. <laughs> Primary league is like a soccer league, but it's like, it says it's no good. Wait, did I already have this one? That's not the one. I, oh, I just... <laughs> I went right by this the first time. That's on me. That's my bad. It's just, it's so weird. Making a game that's not a sequel. It's like, when's the last time I made a game that wasn't a sequel? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. That's okay. All right, so this is my first game with 3D Sound 3.1. And, oh, so this is my first time making a sim slash eco sim. So let's look at our sliders or um, name bow hunter bow hunter. What's the last bow hunter we did bow hunter five was the last simulation. So let's copy these. So these are the sliders for simulation. Eco sim is probably a little different. But I think it's similar, so I'm just going to roll with this. And it should be okay. Ish. <laughs> should be in the neighborhood. All right, so 38 to 50. So we could actually make this double A sized. Although, does that include controller support? It might not. Or modern, modern controller support did not. Controller support. Okay, so that puts us up to 40 to 40. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. And of course, prove the gameplay. High quality graphics, high quality sound, high quality animations. Let's go. And I got a, my marketing team's going to be working. Oh, apparently I didn't put cutscenes in. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's fine. We'll see how good this is. This might not be very good. There's a chance that it's not very good. And you are maxed out. So you go in here. What are you doing? Eh, they're close enough. We'll put them in here where they belong in the graphics studio. All right. Secondary development team just finished an MMO add-on recently. Let's do a free update for Crazy Games Tycoon 6. We definitely have some marketing to do for this game. Let's just do one game magazine. We'll get it to 10. And I know this isn't the most efficient way to do this financially, but it's the less, it's the most efficient way and how many things I have to click. <laughs> That's the lazy man's efficient way of getting that to 100 hype. All right, so Gambler Tycoon, plus 300 graphics. We'll take that. Graphics, I guess it's a simulation, so graphics do matter. Yeah. All right, so let's do a free update, another free update for Shadows Over Ang. Yeah, my MMO is still gaining subscribers, but slower. It's over 6 million subscribers though now. I will probably look at making another MMO relatively soon-ish. So what else is popular right now? We know simulation is the trend. We just did a building game. It's popular. Um, man, like, there's very few things that aren't super saturated. Right? Like, it seems like, feels like almost everything is saturated. First-person shooter. Red Dead 3 is still on the market. Just did an eco sim, and we're kind of doing another econ sim now. 
Eh, let's just do another puzzle game. Let's do another Digger Dugger. Digger Dugger works. Yeah, I mean, it's the best-selling game ever at the moment, right? So let's make sure we have the best tech level 5 stuff. And that'll be a nice tech level 5. Let's switch this to the mini machine. That will be beautiful. All right, that's at 100 hype. That is at 100 hype. Nothing for my research team to do. Looks like my support team is keeping pace, which is very important. Consoles are selling well. My console team is doing cost optimization for the mini machine. Let's just check its selling price. We we're currently making a profit on that. So let's hold at a $10 profit. So we, were, we took a loss on these consoles early to build up the user base, right? Now that we're at like 15 and 16 million, now we can try to start making money back up. The gaming machine might be profitable. It's only negative 200 million, but the mini machine, I lost almost 700 million on that. I mean, it's fine. I have 400, 400, I have 4 billion in the bank. So it's fine. Ooh, only 70 to 90 estimate. This game is not going to be good. Um, we're still waiting for the sound team. Everybody else is done, though. Yikes. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this game may have been a mistake. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be overhyping it. <laughs> I do not believe I'll be overhyping this game. How is Civ City 4 selling? Yeah, 180,000. That's pretty good for an exclusive. Crazy Games Tycoon 6, not quite as well. Oh, you can start to see... Um, see the little different color at the bottom of each of these bars? That is digital sales. Um, as compared to physical, right? We're in 2007, so digital sales are a thing, but, you know, they're not the norm. Right? But as time goes on, we'll see more and more digital sales. All right. Two gigabyte memory card. So my next handheld will be a little better. Although my hand, next handheld will just be a revision. I'll be revising the mini machine. Yeah, we're moving about 200,000 of each console. And that's during the summer slump. Or wait, did the summer slump just start? Summer slump just started. So that's going to hurt. Oh, I need to market both of these. Just realizing. <laughs> and what else? Super bikes. Yeah, my market. I'm slacking on my marketing. All right, so how much hype is this going to give them? Yeah, I let them. Hmm. I should not be letting the hype get that low. That's that's not cool. <laughs> that's on me. All right, so Gambler Tycoon should be ready to go. Sound team is polishing. Only 70 to 90. Uh, that's yikes. I think it might actually be over 90. Of course, the fact that I have three things I had no experience in, it's going to hurt review score quite a bit. Yeah, 90%. So that's fine. That's That's a pretty decent game. Um, and now we'll make something that will be better than that. <laughs> Digger Dugger 11 will likely be a 98% review score. Um, what do we got for licenses? We do not have a license that fits for puzzle. Can we buy one that fits for puzzle? It's only three star, but yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? I bought a lot of licenses over the course of this run. We'll leave it at AAA for now. If we have to bump it up to quadruple A, we will. And I, you know, I may have to. Um, yeah, let's keep going with the manufacturer exclusives. I mean, they're profitable. That's all that matters, right? Like I'm not losing money on any of these games. Even Gambler Tycoon, which isn't as good as most games, it's uh, it only costs 14 million to make, right? Because it was only a double A game. I just made two double A games in a row. That's kind of weird. All right, so everything looks good here. Turn on everything here. 56. You know what? I'm going to make this quadruple A. I don't want to cut four things. That's that's too much. And I mean, there are some easy cuts that I can make, like password saves. <laughs> but six is too much. I feel like I'd be cutting actual relevant things if I was to cut six things. Right? So I'm not going to. I'm just going to make a quadruple A. And yeah, it costs more. That's fine. Like I said, I got all kinds of money in the bank. Um, 
Speaking of money in the bank, buy out another publisher here. Um, Blockstar, sure, let's buy Blockstar. And then we will upgrade them to five stars and make their settings. They can publish their own games and they only make games for my consoles. You're not allowed to make any other games. Sorry, but not sorry. All right, so Summer Slump. Summer Slump did not hurt my consoles. My consoles are selling really well still. Okay, call that a win. All right, let's blast through this commission work. Let's get um, Digger Dugger up to 90 hype. Think there's anything? Oh, lost type. I don't think there's anything a research team can do. There is not. Yeah, I'm thinking Digger Duggers should probably probably be a good game. Let's market it again. Make up for that lost hype. What am I gonna make after Digger Dugger though? Platformer is mm, mm, probably not platformer. <laughs> it's not popular. First person shooter. Lead Dead Three is about to come off the market. Yeah, I think it's time for Lead Dead 4. I think that's a decent IP at this point. Eh, probably not. It's only three games. So let's make sure this is up to date with the best tech level 5 stuff. Sound for sure. And maybe physics? No. So just the sound we need to add. What that means, it's a slightly different engine than the previous game. Which I feel does matter for review score. Or for like fans being happy about the game. How's Lucera Hockey 06 selling? Not near as well as its predecessor, but it is a console exclusive for my consoles. Should I make a game that's not exclusive just to see how many I can move? There's Adventure 3. This was my visual novel. Um, made 118 million, moved 584,000 to my console. Gamer Tycoon has gone gold, or gotten a gold record. Actually, it's selling fairly well, considering... How low my expectations were for it going in. We might as well throw an update at it. All right, so everybody's doing their thing. So console team is done of cost optimization on the uh, mini machine. All right, so neither one of them need any durability, which is weird because I didn't like I didn't add any of the durability. This is just their base durability. Which I didn't think it it would come like that, but yeah, my console sales are way up. Um, Super System Pro. Yeah, I think it's time. No, we're gonna leave it for a little while longer. We'll leave the yeah, not much longer though. So we can do commission work here just to keep them occupied until the next console needs to be made. It's probably gonna be in a bit. So yeah, I mean. The holiday see I'm in, really interested to see what the holiday season does to these games or these consoles. Because they're kind of flying off the shelf as it is right now. And is there any research to be done? There is not. Yeah, like 20 million. They're both around 20 million. Which is good. Uh, let's throw another updated super bikes. Lord of the Rims, ooh, Lord of the Rims is losing subscribers. It's getting harder to maintain. Uh, I mean, it's made over $1.1 billion at this point, so it's not like it, it's fine. Yeah, it's been 35 weeks since the last add-on. Okay, so let's just continue development. We got some work to do yet. Special marketing. Oh. Did I not do the pre-release for the press for Crazy Games Tycoon 6? Apparently not. Whoops. <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah. Whoops is all I can really say. All right. Consoles. How are they doing? Super System Pro. We don't really care about that one. Let's get the gaming machine hyped up in time for the holiday season to hit. All right. Let's just see. Okay. MoCap is polishing. Graphics is on their last thing. Sound is on their last thing. 
Um, we got program, maxed out in skills. They go in there, and there's another person in here, also maxed out. All right, so I have one person in training. And nope, never mind. I have nobody in training. So yeah, technically I have room for one person in there still. <laughs> All right, everybody's polishing. Um, did I do overhype yet? Let's overhype this. Let's do a free update. Gambler Tycoon. And I'm going to make the MMO add-on with my main team. Just got to wait. And let's market the other console. I just want them to have nice high hype. Going into the holiday season, right? Because yeah, I mean, if they're moving four hundred twenty thousand and three hundred seventy-three thousand right now, imagine when the holiday season hits in a month. Mobile games have been unlocked. Overhype worked. Do I need to research anything for mobile game? No. All right, so let's finish development. Search publisher. Claim this is going to be ninety-eight percent or better. I'm pretty confident. Yep, 98%. Great. All right, so quickly, MMO add-on. Lord of the Rims Online. Um, the Shire. Just the Shire. I'm, just, I'm running out of Lord of the Rings references for names for this game. All right, add everything that matters there, like social media integration and the multiplayer stuff. And we're going to bug fix and polish. Actually, let's get three commission work. Let's blast through those. And commission work here. And three commission work there. Get through those. Oh, it lost a bunch of gameplay points. Awesome. That's good. That's what we wanted. No, it's not what we wanted. Oh, well, that's fine. We'll survive. We always do. We always do. We always find a way. Nope, not high quality sounds. Looch, polishing. You want polishing, my man? There you go. Man, it's half done already. All right, so let's get some marketing done for it. So that right here. Radio spot. Let's do an update for Digger Dugger. How is Digger Dugger selling? Probably pretty good. 200k in week one. That's not bad. It's not awesome, but it's not bad. Let's get this up to 100 hype. I'm not going to overhype it, though. I'm just going to get it there, pre-release with the press. That'll be good. Hey, so you notice my ad on sales cratered. That's because of the whole, you know, sales are capped by the main game sales. But yeah, it's it's getting harder and harder to keep interest high. But it's I mean it's been out for almost five years now, right? Although I say that, like, I mean World of Warcraft is still World of Warcraft has been out for almost 20 years at this point. But that's I mean, that's the exception rather than the rule, I guess. Special marketing. Pre-release for the press. Best graphics, best soundtrack, developer of the year, publisher of the year is somebody I own, and game of the year. Nice. Ooh, so Civ City 4 won multiple awards. Ooh, instrument support, so we could make like Guitar Hero Theory. Um, so that got it some nice IP value because that was basically a worthless IP <laughs> going into that. All right, so finished development. Oh, wait, we're waiting. Waiting for the pre-release for the press, I guess. All right, so it is the holiday season. Yep. Yep, console sales are high. I repeat, console sales are high. We add on to publisher. No experience gained. That's fine. 97%. We, we continue to make good add-ons. So this negative subscription number should turn back positive. Hopefully. <laughs> Might not. Um, and what was I doing next? I had a plan. I forget the plan. Lead dead? Yeah, it was lead dead. 
a dead four. Not 43. <laughs> That's <laughs> coming in the future. Way in the future. Is there no IP or no license that's good for FPS? Nope. Unless I skimmed right by one, which is possible. All right, so I guess we make this one a license. That's fine. And we're going to make this multi-platform. So go Game Station 2, personal computer. Um... Super System Pro. And no, I can't cut out. No, I can't cut out both of my consoles. Let's cut out this console. I'm going to be taking it off the market soon anyway. We're reaching 371 million people. So I'm curious to see how well this sells compared to my exclusives, right? Because it's been a while since I made non-exclusive. Ooh, this is kind of ugly looking though. <laughs> uh, ye Yeesh. I guess this was my first FPS slash RPG. Uh, they want more story. Okay. They want more length. They want better level design. They want more violence. And it's too easy. So that, that, and that need to go down. Really? Those sliders going to be right? Maybe. One way to find out. 1050 2020. I believe that is what I have. Yep. Yeah, so these sliders just come purely from the primary genre, which is FPS. I don't think they pull from the secondary. These sliders pull from both, more so from the primary. Same with these, but these ones are purely just the primary. They're not everything. 58. So yeah, this is gonna be quadruple because I'm not cutting eight things. No way, no how. All right. I'm surprised Lead Dead only has, uh, like, basically no IP value. I could have swore it won some awards at one, at one point, too, which usually gives good IP value. But evidently not. Evidently, I am mistaken. Yeah, I can, I can clear out all these training rooms now and put in extra servers or whatever if I need them or just extra rooms in general and market lead dead a couple TV spots yeah we might actually make some money off the Lucera mini machine eventually <laughs> it's gonna, it would take a long time but yeah how far up the charts have my consoles moved already well Oh, the DS. The DS is coming for second place. It already came. It already hit, got third. Took away from the Pocket Pro. But yeah, so they're already they're moving up. They're moving up quick. They're gonna pass the Atari soon. Nintendo 64, well within sights, considering what they're how many units they're moving. Although to be fair, this um it is the holiday season, right? So that kind of Kind of skews the sales numbers a little bit. They look a little better than they actually are, but yeah, those are really good, really good. So yeah, I feel like losing money early on until you get the cost reductions in is the play. Definitely. All right. So Lead Dead lost a few sound points. That's nothing that we can't make up. Let's throw another updated Digger Dugger. Zigna, new competitor for me to buy. All right, so what am I going to make after Lead Dead? What is neglected? World of War? That's what, my third person shooter? Yeah, I think so. So maybe update the old third person shooter engine here. Um, just best tech level five stuff, I think. I'm not going to make tech level six until I have multiple tech level six things. And we don't yet. We just have that one graphics thing and that's it. This is at 100 hype. So when that's ready, we'll ship her. Blast through this commission work. 
We are almost at 100%. Um, I forget what the word for this is. Reputation. Reputation with clients. So basically because I always do my commission work in time, this reputation keeps going up. Right? 80 gigabyte hard disk. Okay? I mean, we're not even going to use that, but it's fine. Yeah, even after the holiday season, still moving nearly 500,000 to the mini machine. Ooh, video game boom. Boom, boom. That is good. That's good. That's 50%. Sales. For consoles and games. So that'll, these will go right back up. <laughs> right back up to holiday season levels. So that is good news for me. All right, so they did that contract work. Um, another update for the Shire. Yep, so over 6 million subscribers again. Shire Hockey 6 did go over 10 million units sold. That'll be off the market soon. Oh, and we got advanced physics. So we do have our second tech level three feature. All right, let's get um, pre-release special marketing done here. Release with the press and overhype. Well, I'm assuming. Ooh. Okay, so I'm assuming it's going to be worth overhype, but we got to wait for these bugs to be gone. <laughs> and then maybe we can look at it again. All right, so Chair Hockey 06 is off the market, 10 million, 164 million in profit, 835,000 consoles moved. That is what we call a successful game, folks. Big time. Okay, so it is 80 to 100, so we can overhype this without fear of it blowing up in our face. <laughs> Let's throw another update of Crazy Games Tycoon 6. Overhype did not work. That's fine. And I know this console is old and out of date, and, but I'm going to hype it anyway. But yeah, man, my consoles are... Ooh. I'm very impressed with how they're selling. Because they started really slow, especially the gaming machine. I was very disappointed with its early sales. But it's quickly, quickly moving up the ranks. They both are. They're both in the top 20. They're going to be in the top 10 before too long. Well, there's still quite a lot of ways to go for the top 10, I guess. But I'm happy with the pace they're moving at now. I mean, it's still early in their life cycle, right? We can revise both of them yet. Right, they have nowhere to go but up. Um, all right, so let's Lead Dead is almost done. Um, all right, so I'm gonna make this third person shooter, I'm gonna make a tech level six. Yeah, my first tech club will be coming up very soon all right so sound team is done <laughs> so let's release this hmm, do i want to really release a first person shooter and a third person shooter back to back yeah it's fine it's fine everything is fine all right getting better at the old wild west and cowboy games <laughs> a little bit of saturation in this one not too bad 98 percent as we hoped. And that is going to do it for this episode, folks. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.